couple of weeks ago, we told you about the 1% campaign at Concordia University in Montreal. Essentially, students were being asked to pay an extra 1% on top of their tuition fees. The money would go to projects to turn Concordia into an environmentally sustainable place. Well, the results of the vote are in, and the students have agreed to do it. Peter Chiefke is co-president of Youth Action Montreal, which came up with the idea. So, Peter, how do you feel now that 1% campaign has passed at Concordia? Uh, I feel that nine months of hard work finally came to fruition, so... You probably feel pretty good. So tell me, how is this going to work? Um, well, basically what happens now is, uh, now that the votes are in, um, the first funds should be coming in in September, uh, when the fees are collected for the fall semester. And then we've set up a board at Concordia, a new board, which is comprised of half students and half administrators, which are going to administer to the funds and make sure that they're spent uh, specifically on issues and on, on projects to make Concordia one of the most sustainable universities in Canada. So tell me, uh, give me some examples. What, have the, what are the kind of things you're hoping to do with the money that's going to be raised? Um, we have a couple of projects in mind, some of uh, which are a little more expensive than others. For example, Concordia University has two campuses, and we've got four shuttle buses that uh, transport students uh, to and from each campus. Those currently are powered by biodiesel. But what we're going to do is we're going to use some of the funds to replace those in the next five years to fully electric buses. Um, another project we have working on is uh, a 100 ton composting facility which is going to be set up on our, our second campus at Loyola which will basically uh, be used to turn all of um, the compostable materials into compost every year. Uh, it's a huge facility and that alone is going to cost about a half million dollars. Um, and then we're looking to phase out the use of plastic bags, uh, plastic cups and carton cups on campus over the next five years by issuing 42,000 reusable mugs and reusable bags to every student on campus at the beginning of the year. Wow, so a lot of projects yeah. in, in mind. How much money do you hope to raise each year? What is 1% of tuition um, fees? The total, just collecting the funds from the students alone, is about $185,000 a year. So it equals out to about $850,000 over five years. But we're now in the process of working with the provincial government of Quebec uh, to get those funds matched dollar for dollar. Uh, we held the conference last week with Al Gore and David Suzuki. It was called the Less Talk, More Action Conference, uh, which time Claude Bichard, the provincial minister of the environment, uh, was very supportive of the campaign and uh, we're very confident that, uh, that hopefully the provincial government will match the funds in the next couple of months. You know, it's incredible. Whenever you talk about raising tuition fees, you usually see students protesting in the streets. Yeah. How surprised were you that students actually voted to increase their tuition fees? Uh, we, don't, we don't think of it as an increase in tuition uh, per se. It's more of the difference between what we've done and what universities do or what the government does is that we, we're asking our students if they're in favor of this. This was actually a student initiative. It was the student union that put this forward during the student union elections. So this wasn't the university asking the students for the funds and it wasn't the government. It was students saying, okay, let's put our money together and control the money and make sure that it goes towards the ever important issue of the environment. Uh, so we're giving students the choice. What the government does, they don't really yeah. give students the choice. They basically say we're slapping on X, X amount onto your tuition. And I guess uh, at Concordia, because if I remember correctly, tuition fees in Quebec are a lot lower than the rest of the country. It's about 20 bucks per student per year, something like that, right? Uh, yeah, we have the lowest tuition in North America, actually. It's the best bang for your buck. Uh, we're looking, per class, we're still paying about $166 for a Quebec resident. Um, and we're tacking on an extra 75 cents. So students basically voted to tack on an extra 75 cents onto a $166 class. Wow, okay. Now that it's yeah. been accepted by Concordia students, any plans to launch similar campaigns at, at other Canadian universities? Yeah, that's the long-term goal. Uh, we've actually been speaking with McGill University as well as Dawson uh, College and John Abbott College. They're both very interested and we're hoping to bring it to their campuses in the next year. And then the long-term goal next year would be to uh, do a pan-Canadian tour uh, hopefully with uh, with David Suzuki. That's our goal, and we're hoping to solidify that. But, uh, you know, as you know, he retired last year, so getting him on another tour will be hard to do, but we're, we're trying as hard as we can, and we're hoping to stop off in about between 20 and 50 universities across the country next year, hoping that they'll put it on their ballots and ask their students the same question. Maybe we could get some people here at the CBC to give him a little talk to see if he'll go with <laughs> you. <laughs> That'd <laughs> Thank be amazing. Thanks a lot, Peter. Thank you very much, Andrew.